survey shows Americans are reluctant about traveling, even though most of the country is reopening. This weekend is the unofficial start to summer Memorial Day weekend. So I spoke with travel agent Beth Dupstadt of Love, Land and Sea Travel to help you get ready for Memorial Day and beyond. What are you hearing from your clients about their feelings on travel? Most of my clients seem like they're ready to travel. Uh, a lot of people have had to make some modifications and maybe change their destination. Um, but in general, people are ready to go. I know you helped a lot of people cancel or postpone trips, me included. Um, so what should people expect if they decide they want to try to make some plans again? Uh, the really important thing is to just be flexible and understand that things may change again. Flights might be delayed or canceled and um, flexible is really important. Um, as well as a good travel insurance policy. That's something that is really important to, to have. Yeah, travel insurance, I, I think, was probably used by a lot of people this spring. Um, how are the hotels and airlines changing the way they do things to keep people safe when we do travel? You know, I've been really impressed with how far the airlines and the hotels have been going as far as new cleaning procedures and um, social distancing. The airlines, you know, most of them are requiring masks they're doing new cleaning um, for the entire plane in between flights. They're keeping people distance, uh, distance for the most part. And then the hotels have some really great programs as well. Um, you know, the, the hotels and airlines or airplanes are gonna be the cleanest they've ever been. So, um, you know, I definitely think that, that we're making progress there. Yeah, I actually heard somebody the other day compare it to traveling after 9-11, like they felt like that was probably the safest it had ever been to fly. So do you mm -hmm. see people mostly staying in the, in the USA for trips or are people willing to go out of the country again? Um, you know, there's, there's a little bit of both. I have a lot of clients who are ready to go out of the country as soon as borders open and as soon as they can. Um, but there are a lot of people who prefer to stay, you know, somewhat local and, and drive instead of fly right now. So it's really kind of um, mixed. But for this, you know, for the next few months, I think people are more focused on domestic travel. Any tips for Memorial Day? And remind us why it's a good idea to use a travel agent like you when making plans. So for Memorial Day, you know, I will say since a lot of people are driving and it's always a time to drive anyway, traffic is probably gonna be pretty bad. Um, so make sure you plan ahead for that. Um, and then as far as using a travel agent, you know, it, now more than ever, it's important to have someone that's on your side, who's looking out for you, who can tell you um, the policies that you need to be aware of and help you if you do get into a situation where you need to come home right away or they make, um, you know, any more restrictions to travel. And, um, you know, having that agent is, is really beneficial for the traveler. Now you can find more information at Love, Land and Sea Travel's website. We have a link at local12.com. Just look for it under the Get It Now links under the News tab.